Hello and welcome to the Peace Security channel everybody. The computer you're looking at is a Trojan Playground. We've got tons of Trojans running and going about their daily business, having fun, and uh, as a result uh, the PC is a wreck. So this is the Trojan Farmhouse as reported by Hitman Pro. Now, as you can see we've got Trojans and Trojans everywhere and most of them are running and active. So, you know, it's good fun for them. And as you can see, Explorer.exe has also crashed, and uh, it's basically just a disaster. So, to crash the party, we have McAfee Stinger. Now, I remember using this tool back in the day uh, before the era of Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro. But how effective is this today? That is what we're going to find out. So let's go ahead and run this program. Okay, I'll just restart the program. Okay, we already have it open. And uh, as you can see, the interface is very basic, but we do get some advanced settings. We can scan process, registry, boot sectors, and rootkits. The sensitivity by default is medium, but just for curiosity, I wanted to set it at high to see what it finds. And on thread detection is set to repair, and uh, that's the way I will leave it. So let's go ahead and do their basic scan. And let's see if McAfee can uh, do the trick. So I hope the scan is not too long, but from the speed, I think it's going to take a while. So I will pause the video and I will resume when the scan is all done with. Alright, well the Stinger scan was much much quicker than I had ever imagined. It's a really quick scan, just took uh, 1 minute and 34 seconds. And it's caught a ton of stuff, including the major infection that is the Windows Explorer Trojan. And they've all been deleted, so as you can see it did catch some stuff. And most of these are Artemis detection, so this is probably a cloud scan got uh, a couple of back doors. Again, Artemis Trojan, pretty much everything is a Trojan. So it found and cleaned six items, but all of these are major infections. So I'm quite happy with that, considering the scan speed. It did find most of the major stuff. So let's see what else is left over. Well, I did another Hitman Pro scan, and as you can see, we still have some stuff all around uh, this place. And uh, we still have some executables that we would want to be removed. So I think I'll give uh, Stinger another chance and this time I'll do a more full scan. So I'm basically going to customize the scan and just select the whole C drive. So this is probably going to take much longer. So I'll pause the video and let's see what Stinger can find after scanning the entire system. Stinger has completed removing everything that it found. That is five more items. So it removed 11 items in total. And all of these are major infections. Server.exe, this file. I mean, most of these are the things that were causing the real problems. So the computer is just like fixed. I mean, there are no explorer.exe alerts anymore, and uh, I have access to network locations, which was blocked by the malware. And uh, well, it just seems to have done a pretty good job. Now, the full scan was also really quick, much against my expectations. Look at that, just 17 minutes and 5 seconds. That is really quick for a full scan of the entire system. And uh, it seems to have done a pretty good job, so let's verify. Hitman Pro. Hitman Pro says that uh, everything's fixed, and uh, the only thing it's complaining about is basically a corrupted registry key, which uh, points to a file that no longer exists. So that is the only problem that Hitman Pro found. But I didn't stop there. I went ahead and did a scan with Malwarebytes. And Malwarebytes has found some additional items. So let's take a look at what it's found. 
It's got some stuff in app data, some DLL files, a folder, and a .dc file. And we've got another Trojan agent in startup items. Well, let's try to see where exactly this thing is. In fact, most likely this is the uh, item that was found by Hitman Pro. And we've got three registry keys. So I think McAfee doesn't do that good of a job with registry keys. But the good thing to see here is that all the major malware, all the active malware, the executables, they were all removed by McAfee. And we don't have any major stuff left over. I mean, all the problems were solved. Of course, we have these traces left over that Malwarebytes has found. But after all this, to say that uh, Stinger is decent would be a major understatement. I think its performance was really good, and I'm really surprised and pleasantly surprised after a long time. I mean, I had almost forgotten about this program, but it looks like it does a really good job even today. And the scan is really quick, so I think Stinger has earned a place in my testing toolbox, along with Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro, of course. It seems to be very effective, and it's great for inexperienced users as well, and it seems to be completely trouble-free. You just download it, and you run it. It's portable. You don't have to do a huge update every time you install it. In fact, there is no installation. It's just portable. It does its scan in the cloud, and uh, the scan is quick. It didn't ask me to reboot, which is a big surprise, although all this malware was active. It never asked me to reboot the system, as most other tools do. So I think I'm really impressed with uh, Stinger. I'll use it with my toolbox to see how it performs in different scenarios, along with these other tools, of course. So in the future, I'll be able to know this tool better and how good it exactly is. But my first impressions are great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review. Have a nice day. I'll be back with more videos soon. So see you guys then.